uh, hi everyone so in this video we are going to do uh, check like on two strings if they are anagram or not we have done this already many times I think I have already covered this but there are different approach to check if two strings are anagram or not like uh, first we check the length of the string and then we will actually uh, do the sorting on that and then we will just iterate and check if both the strings are having the same value or not so string one dot uh, length first of all the length if not equal equal to a string two str2 dot length if this is not same then we will return false okay then what we will do is we will actually do the sorting const uh, string one let's say and what we will do is str1 dot uh, split it will actually convert that into an array and here we will do the sort default sort so we will actually convert it into string 1 and string 2 string 1 and string 2 so we got finally two different arrays okay uh, here we can just say okay is is anagram initially we set to true and then based on our calculation we will decide if this is anagram or not so string 1 here we can do a for each loop okay in the for each uh, we will actually get the current index current character and the index of this and here here we will check in the if condition if string 2 of index the if not equal 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 to the current character which we have that means is anagram is false or you can just simply return you don't need iteration because we got the false and finally we can return is anagram okay uh, a simple one right string 1 and string 2 we are dealing with the string 2 of index should be equal to the current character because we have done the sorting so now both the strings should be in the same order if they are anagram okay so what else we can talk about in javascript is about classes like the interviewer can ask you to write a simple class and can talk about some uh, object oriented concept like polymorphism overriding overloading constructor overloading right all different things so how we define a constructor in uh, javascript this is how we can create a class and define a constructor and then we can also to string name we can also define a methods okay here what i'm doing is here i'm returning a string name is uh, let's put a back text this is what i'm returning a name is dollar this dot name this is our uh, parent class you can see now what if you wanted to extend this class and we wanted to create another class which is class student which is extending so this is how we can extend one class into another class so here this is a class student which is extending the person class here we can have a constructor same as the other and from child class how we can call the parent class constructor using super keyword super we will have take a two argument name and SID so here we can have a this dot SID equal to SID this is a local to this class and here we are calling the super class super use the super keyword we can call the parent constructor and we can actually override this method to string right what we can do is return in practice only return value is here you can call the using parent class method using super dot uh, super dot we can call this method to string name 
super dot two string name will print two string and you can say SID is uh, this dot SID. Something wrong. Uh, it is complaining. Okay, we didn't close it. Yeah. So this is how we can actually create a child class. Now we can create an object of it and can call a two string student, which will call the two string name also. Okay. So just a parent child class uh, and the inheritance concept. How you define the constructor? How we can call the parent class uh, constructor or method with the help of super keyword? Right. Now, what we can do is we can talk about the object prototype. Uh, how actually we chain the object in JavaScript, which is like uh, const obj equal to we have a as a hundred. Right. Now, what happens when we do when we create object out of it? Object dot create obj one. And we can create object three from object dot create two. So here we are actually creating a proto chain. Uh, the properties of this object is getting extended by object object two, and then object three is being created by object two, right? So whenever you do object three dot underscore underscore proto, object three dot underscore underscore proto. It will point to object two. When you do further proto, it will point to object one. And then when you again do proto, it will point to capital O object. And when you do finally, it will point to null. Okay, this is how the object. Okay, so this is how we actually create a proto chain, and uh, this is how the properties are getting extended. Okay. So you can have your own properties also. Object two dot x which has a ninety, but this a property which also exists in object two, but that is not the the property of object two. It is yeah, inherited from object. So when you say object two dot has on has on property, a, or you pass a, then it will return false. Object three dot has on property, and you pass a, then it will also return false. Okay. It x is x ninety, which is the original property of object two, but a is not a property of object two. But still, object two will have it. When you do object three dot a, how it will iterate? How it will get the values? Object three dot a, it will check that do I have this value? No. Then it will check in the proto chain. It will check the a property in the object two. It will not there. Then it will check in the object. Okay, object a has the a hundred, so it will print. It. This is how it will actually uh, check in the protos of all the inheritance which it has done. Okay.